gonna switch things up a little bit uh, for this afternoon we spent all morning chasing this uh, stag around that we found and we got within 80 yards of them a couple times but we had three guys and uh, it's really hard to do this stuff with the with the camera guy hunter and a guide so Daniel's gonna hang back and my guide Liam is gonna run the camera for me again we've done that before on the South Island so wish us luck hopefully it'll work out this time we're using a stick and a string instead of a rifle which is a little different not I mean I'm a, actually a big bow hunter but most of you guys don't ever see me with a bow but hopefully we'll get some good footage for you guys today we're gonna drag this pine tree out here for the uh, for the stag it's like stag kryptonite I don't know what it is about these pine trees but it's like catnip to a cat they just can't resist it so we're gonna set this in place and we're gonna set up on the hill and watch it see if we can't finally get this thing down you want to talk about an awesome setup we got Liam and I up here working our way through the rocks Got Daniel down here in a blind uh, that's got a front row seat to everything. He can see everything. We eventually get off these rocks. We work our way down uh, into these smaller rocks here. Stags are fighting with each other. And things are going off. The only thing here is the stag we want has not come in here yet. But if nothing else, we get to sit here and watch National Geographic from 20 yards, which is exciting. But I really want to get this stag. I finally get a chance. He comes within 48 yards and uh, I draw my bow back and as soon as I do the arrow knocks off or falls off my string and I'm starting to think man I might not be the bow hunter that I thought I was. So what next? I'll tell you what's next. This is what's next. 175 grain ELDX at 3250 is a game changer. And when I get tired of chasing this thing all over the mountain, we pull this out of the back of the gator. We had to get on the radio because this thing has literally run over a mile from where we last saw it. But we catch up to him, and uh, you can see how the rest of the story goes. Sun, Daniel, you've got that little kind of clay rock. Yeah. Yeah. Just on the edge of the sun. Yeah. Up high, kind of. They're just by there. Up above it, or see them going under the clay rock. Under the clay rock. How far under? Go no, up to the next one. Okay. Here. I see you. Six eighty five, dear. Is that six eighty five? Six eighty five, yeah. And he's the so he's the one that's just got his head sticking out of the tree. On the left? Or right. No. So, there's bottom. one walking right. The one's walking left. Yeah, there's one below there. Yeah. Facing away from us. He's the bottom one. Yeah, and then you see how there's another one, the third one, the lowest one. Yeah, with just his head sticking out. Looking back at us? Yeah. That's him. Okay. And it's picking up there. And it's still 685. Okay. All right, he's about to come out, Daniel. What? He's about to come out.
little bit. Huh? It's coming back. Huh? Yeah. Is everything good? Uh, yeah, it just got real dark. Hold on. Yep. Alright, uh, it's coming up and out. One just You're good, Jerry. Yeah, we good? Yep. Yeah. Same distance? Uh, six, seven, two. Good. Ready? Yeah. Good. That's good oh. shot, man. <laughs> man, that was good. He's He's got to go down from that. Yeah. That was pretty center punched. God, these things are tough. I was like, because I was like, I knew so I was a lousy it. bow hunter. <laughs> oh man. Finally. <laughs> After four days, bring it in. Cool. Only took four days and a rifle. Hey. <laughs> 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 Footage is good? Huh? Footage is good? Oh yeah. Okay. It's all good. It got weird for a sec when the sun came out. I went and checked this real quick and it was real washed out, but then it went it got covered up. It's good. Right, How I'm much wooden did you hold? A half a mil and I gave it a little bit more because it was ramping up. <laughs> what was the distance? 672 I think. What a little yes. this Ford off stuff I told you is on the money. Uh, I'm not sure. Of course, having a good gun doesn't hurt. ELDX lays another one. Okay. Well, Liam said the sound of a successful bow, shot, bow hunt was a rifle shot, so <laughs> evidently there's some truth to that. We've literally been chasing this guy for what, is it four days? Yeah. We have been on him over and over and over, and well, <laughs> we finally just took the rifle out, and I was like, enough is enough. We had him. He came right up on top of us and saw Liam. We were hunting him earlier, and poof, took off, and old trusty here the alpine another one shot stop as per usual yep all right oh <laughs> sneaky booger it's not sneaky anymore <laughs> I'm not a purist. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> well. Uh, That's a good shit. 
Yeah, that one. That one was in the boiler room. Yeah, it was like right where you had the top. Yeah. Adios, amigo. Another one bites the dust. You could not do this without this bag. Go get a bag. It's better if it has a nice little logo on it, but the Get Light Greaser bag gets her done. Actually, that's the Get Light Armageddon gear. Reaser, what is it? It's Clifton's it's a bag made by Armageddon gear. You should go get one. That's what it is. With the APA logo. Seriously, like you guys should have these at the lodge. Probably. Yeah. You need to talk to Clifton. He's a duct tape until it's gone. Well, put your name and your logo on them and stuff so nobody takes them. Mm. All right. Pressure was on. I guarantee you they'd buy one once they used one. So here's, we got a crazy little scenario here. Been chasing this guy for four days. So we get over on the far hill, we shoot him. And then we hear somebody else shoot, pan around there and show him the other stag. There's 6,000 plus acres here. And what are the odds of this? That's Kenny's stag over there and here's mine here. Literally within 25 yards of each other. This is Brian and Kenny. They're some of the shooters that we shoot with back home. Came over with us. So what do you guys think about this place? It's awesome, It, it man. doesn't suck, right? Yes. <laughs> it doesn't suck. Let me see if I can show them this. Uh, uh, I told him, I said, I'm a lousy bow hunter. <laughs> that tired of chasing. Well, you didn't go home thing. defeated anyway. It's all good. So, the story is, we had one bullet left. One bullet. One bullet in a 6.5 saw. Yeah. So he shoots it with an 18 gun, and yeah. it wasn't quite enough to put him down. So he had to grab an old APA 308. <laughs> <laughs> 308 gets it done again, I told you. <laughs> 308's worth Of course, it did take... 12 or 14 rounds. I lost count. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, I lost count. Oh, come on. Well, you just see those 308 bullets Well, he started, like here was the deal. He started with a 308 holding a mil to win, you know, and that wasn't enough. So he went to two, three, four, five, and six. He finally got to 10 mils, and it, that 308 was enough. So. 10, 10 mils. <laughs> Whatever. It's full of baloney. I'm just surprised you didn't shoot another cow, to be honest. Well, <laughs> we saw a good one down there. Like Might be one. interested in, yeah. You got any bullets left? Yeah, I got bullets left. I'm out. Oh, <laughs> I'm not. Well, let's go get it while they clean. <laughs> <it. You> never <laughs> know. <laughs> Good job. Congratulations. You want to drag it? Yeah, man. Good job. Man. Thank you. Um, so we just finished uh, taking the photos of our stag, and we're going to walk on down and see Kenny's stag. Well done. So here's Kenny's stag. Literally 25 yards apart. Cool critter. How do you feel, Kenny? Well, we were a little nervous when we looked over here and he was down because uh, Hobby, he's like, Kenny, you killed two stags on the same hill. I'm like, what? <laughs> and he called back and he said, no, the other one's Jerry's. And we're like, oh, thank God. <laughs> but no, this, is, this has been a great hunt. A lot of great memories, good people. Cool. Uh, once in a lifetime deal. Yeah. Jared, I want to thank you for the invitation. Yes, sir. I do. Happy to have you. Yeah. It's good to have a good group of friends in here, you know, where you know everybody, and I wouldn't want to do it any other way. Right. So luckily I they could either. handle us all here. I wouldn't either. I, I bet you guys don't mind either. having a group of shooters in here either. <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah. So pretty much everybody on this trip shoots pretty good. And and I'll be honest, except for Ryan, yeah. his bullets seem to run into cows somehow. Yeah, yeah they do. They do. <laughs> oh, me. Well, you going to call Shane? Good yeah. memories. Yes, sir. Well, congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir.